Hi, it's Tom D here from HG View, and I've been joined by Ivo Bowles. Perhaps you could introduce yourself, please. Yes, uh, Ivo Bowles, obviously glad to be here at the World Hydrogen Summit 2022. And uh, yeah, looking forward to a couple of questions. Uh, I'm responsible for the Air Products Europe and Africa business, uh, but obviously within our strategy, hydrogen is key and very important and a real important building block for the sustainability, the same as the sustainability, which is actually the growth for of our company in the years to come. So uh, happy to be here. Absolutely, and you've just done a speech on behalf of Air Products. Perhaps you give us a very brief summary of what, what was discussed. Yeah, I was part of the panel that was uh, briefly discussing global supply chains of hydrogen. So uh, whilst we see a great need of hydrogen to decarbonize economies, uh, we basically look at, for example, the uh, Repower Europe communication, which came out only a week ago. So if we want to respond to the ambitions uh, set by the Repower Europe, which is actually importing no less than 10 million tons of green hydrogen into Europe by 2030, we will need this type of project. The NEON project, which I spoke about yesterday, is actually with 650 tons, only the tip of the iceberg. So it's a first mover project, it's important, it's a proof of concept, and obviously it is fully aligned to the decarbonization ambitions of the region. But I actually had the opportunity to reiterate two questions for the industry, and that is really the certification of green hydrogen. So that actually when people embark on these type of projects, they have a clean, clear regulatory framework to say, under what conditions can we bring that green hydrogen to the markets? And actually, at the end of the day, can the import and the domestically produced compete and contribute in exactly the same way, a level play field? And finally, if we just take a look at the major projects that Air Products are involved in currently or are very soon coming up, what are they? It's a long list and obviously I'm sure you follow the media, you follow them closely in particular for the industrial gas industry. Uh, but obviously we have projects both in green and blue. Uh, I mentioned the Neom project, but equally so, recently announced, uh, mainly in the US, blue hydrogen projects, close to where we are today in Rotterdam, uh, the blue hydrogen project for under the name Portos, which is basically a carbon capture project. Uh, also here in the port of Rotterdam, we just announced the largest heavy duty trucking hydrogen fueling station, because also that is important to make sure that we complete the full supply chain to what is important, this end user, this end consumer that is going to drive the energy transition. Ivo, thank you very much for your time. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.